On this episode of Tech Help, we will be taking a very detailed look at the newest version of the Infinity InTouch system. We will be covering all the features of this system, including recently added features. And feel free to skip around to any parts that are of particular interest to you. Let's get started. Two Infinity models currently have this high-tech system, the Q50 and Q60. If you are looking for the other Infinity infotainment system that's in the rest of the Infinity lineup, then check out our other Tech Help video on that system. A link is provided in the description. The InTouch system uses these two high-resolution touchscreens, regardless of whether it has the optional navigation or Infinity InTouch services. The 8-inch top screen defaults to a navigation map, but it can still be used to access audio, phone, and other information. The bottom screen is 7 inches large and is the primary place to adjust most of the vehicle's functions. The InTouch system gives you many ways to make selections. The top screen can be controlled by three different methods. You can use the dash mounted knob, use the steering wheel mounted controls, or just touch it since it is also a touch screen. The bottom screen can be operated only by touch since it is much closer to the driver's reach. Despite initially looking quite intimidating, the system as a whole is surprisingly easy to use. The touch screens are very responsive and everything loads quickly. The screens are also high quality looking and crisply rendered. Overall, the InTouch system is one of the best systems we've tested and integrates two screens far better than its rival Acura. Let's go ahead and dive into this system. First, let's check out the navigation. The system home screen includes several navigation shortcuts. You can manually enter in street addresses through this section and as you'll see, the information you input in the lower section nicely integrates into the upper one, which aids in having a very coherent feel. As you fill in information on the bottom screen, it fills in the blanks on the top screen. Another way you can navigate is by using points of interest. Some categories include restaurants, ATMs, shopping, and travel. Once again, you'll notice the coherent connection between the two screens as detailed information about the POI you selected appears on the upper screen, such as where it is located on the map. Just click on these destinations to begin guidance to them. On the bottom screen, you can select your route preferences, which include the fastest route, most efficient route, and shortest distance. The top screen defaults to this large and crisp map. You can move through the map easily, and pinch to zoom is the most responsive we've experienced on any vehicle. You can also input information in through the top screen if you wish to do so. You may also look at a turn-by-turn -turn list to your destination, as well as change your route preferences. You can change the volume of the voice, arrival times, etc. You can also easily cancel the navigation by clicking here. In the Apps section, you'll find many apps including Phone. From Phone, you can look at many things including access your phone book. Your contacts are automatically synced over from your connected smartphone. From this, you can scroll through your contacts and search alphabetically. As you would expect, you can still dial phone numbers manually. You also have text message support. When you click on these messages, the car will read them aloud to you. Thanks for watching this review on the 2016 Infinity Q52.0 T. Please like and subscribe for more detailed car reviews.
You can then reply to these messages with a pre-made quick message. You can also edit the messages to say whatever you want them to. Other phone options include a favorite section to save your top contacts. You can also use voice controls to make a call. You can interrupt voice prompts and speak a command immediately. Phone. Please say or select a phone command from the displayed list. Call Mason Cell. Showing matching items. Please say or select an item number from the displayed list. Number one. One. Calling Mason Cell. Mobile. In the information section, you have several helpful information apps, including fuel economy information. You also have an eco drive report and traffic information. In the in touch services section, you have many helpful apps. Be aware that you do need a subscription to use these Connecting services the after center. the initial six-month trial period has expired. To use the services, you will first need your connected smart device to have the InTouch Services app installed, because these will use your phone's data to function. iPhones must be connected via USB, and Androids via Bluetooth. We will quickly go over some of the services included. Automatic collision notification calls an Infinity Assistant if the airbags deploy, who then calls emergency personnel if needed. You can also do this manually by pushing the SOS button mounted on the overhead console. They can also track your vehicle if it is stolen and relay that information to the police. As for convenience features, you have the ability to remotely lock and unlock the vehicle using the Infinity Online Portal, the InTouch Services app, or by phone. The system will also alert you when the vehicle needs servicing or is due for maintenance. The four bottom apps allow you to use the Infinity Owners Portal on your computer to set up trip information that you can later download to the vehicle. Your subscription to InTouch Services also includes access to the Infinity Personal Assistant, who can do things for you such as book a hotel or flight for you. There are also a couple of monitoring functions, for instances where you let another person use your vehicle, like a teen or a valet. You can get alerts if the vehicle leaves a selected region, goes over a selected speed threshold, or goes more than 0.2 miles away from a valet parking area. Finally, the system can connect to your Google Calendar. Infinity and Touch services can be purchased in two packages as shown on the screen. The base package costs $179 per year, and the Premier costs $308 per year. Something very important to be aware of is that after December 31, 2016, the AT&T 2G network that powers the telematics and many Infinity models will be discontinued. This is needed to make the Infinity InTouch services work. The 2016 Q50 is not impacted but the 2014 and 2015 models will need a replacement TCU. Infinity will replace the TCU free of charge on 2015 Q50s if you are a subscriber. On 2014 Q50s, the owner will be expected to pay for some of the to-be-determined costs to replace the TCU if they want to continue to get the services. Now let's check out the rest of the apps. The drive mode does exactly what it sounds like. It changes the setup of a vehicle. You can change the aggressiveness of the steering and transmission to your personal liking.
Infinity Intuition is a feature that allows you to link personal settings to each key fob. In the SXM section, you have many helpful apps which are delivered through the XM satellite radio connection. Some apps you have are fuel guides, stock prices, current weather information, sports scores, and movie listings. The fuel guide shows your current gas prices near your location. You can click on them to see more information and see where they are located on the map. The weather app is also very nice, and even includes a live weather map. Please keep in mind that these services will require a Sirius XM radio monthly subscription after the trial period is up, and that is completely separate from InTouch services. By going to the App Garage, as Infinity calls it, you can download more apps or change settings for all the other apps. You have one gigabyte of space to use for apps. Quick Guide is a handy feature that explains how to use some of the features of the infotainment system. The email app reads incoming emails to you as you drive. For security, you can set up a pin to keep prying eyes off of your personal emails. If you hit the little head in the corner, you can manually sign in to the several accounts that can be set up, and again these accounts can be linked to the different key fobs. There is an extra page to put newly downloaded apps. Hitting the audio button under the screen will take you to the very well laid out audio section. I currently have my phone connected through the standard Bluetooth and can play, pause, and skip songs straight from this screen. Switching sources is extremely easy since there is an omnipresent toolbar. Some of the sources are FM, AM, XM, CD, USB, iPod, and Bluetooth. Infinity does not yet offer Pandora or iHeartRadio abilities. For any of the radios, you have a large list of presets, which can be a mixture of XM, FM, and AM sources. The top screen, as mentioned earlier, can also be used as a control center for the system. For this screen, you can input three ways. The knob controller, the steering wheel controls, or by simply touching the screen since it is also a touch screen. It defaults to this map, but you can look at almost any of the options available through the bottom screen. Zooming on the map can be done by twisting the knob. The menu can be pulled up any time by pressing down on the controller. Your audio sources can also be changed up here if you don't want to look down. Finally, we will finish up this tutorial by looking at the very detailed settings section. This area gives you huge amounts of customizability and control over many parts of your vehicle, but it can be a bit intimidating. Phone and email settings have to do with your calls and text messages you receive. Going into mail, you can change settings like what notification sound you want when you receive a message. Vehicle settings are very in-depth. There are a lot of them, so I'll give you a second to look.
Navigation settings allow you to do things like select which icons appear on the map. The sound settings allow you to make changes to the balance, treble, mid, and bass. You can also adjust both settings here if your model is equipped as such. Display settings obviously adjust both of the displays. On the next page you have a few more rarely modified settings, so we won't go into them. Well that's pretty much it for the Infinity in Touch system. If you would like to check out infotainment reviews from Infinity or rival brands, then click on the Tech Help card. Also be sure to check out our channel and subscribe to view Infinity full reviews and more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.